not as sweet as, as I would have expected. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today I have two international whiskies on the cask and they are German whiskies. And they are from the, the region, from the country wise, they are German. From the region they are Bavarian and they are from the region where we are from. We are from Bavaria. And um, we have two different whiskies. One is the Slurs um, Sotan and one is the Port finish. Today I'm going to do the port edition and let me tell you something about the Slurs distillery. It was the first distillery I did a video about it. Um, you can see the distillery here and um, this is now, the distillery is now a bit older and they already have a 12 year old expression. The 12 year old expression is very, very rare and um, this year is a uh, a younger edition. Uh, it is matured, uh, it was matured, has been matured uh, for five, e uh, three years in uh, fresh American oak barrels, which gives it a kind of a bourbon flavor, minus a bit of the sweetness from the corn. I'll show you, this is the bottle. And then after the three years, instead of becoming a Slurs classic, um, it became a Slurs finish and this time they used port casks. I'm not sure if uh, Horst has tasted the, um, the port second edition. I know he did it in the uh, German language but I don't know if he did it in English language. So I'm gonna go a bit into the details between this year and the second port edition because they already did a port version, first edition, second edition and now they did one without the edition. So, um, yeah, fresh American oak. And now they use, they say, they use three years of aging in American oak, and then they finish in small oak wood uh, that has been used before by Porto, and it's all written in German language. Um, and in the last edition, they used 500 liter port pipes, or yeah, I think, uh, port casks. Don't know if it's port pipes or any others. So there is a bit of a difference. And they also say how long they use the, the cask, the small casks for, and they said they use it uh, for 12 months. I uh, don't think I got it from here. I think I got it from some uh, information sheet from the distributor. Uh, for the people who like to the fact check the bottle, it's uh, no coloring. It has an, a nice little red glow in it from port wine. Um, there is no chill filtering and technically there is no age statement on it, although you can find out that is three years plus 12 months pretty easily. So we have a four year old, uh, four year old uh, whiskey here. And the Slears um, are one of the, the now bigger German distilleries. They use uh, pot stills and oh, they use uh, rubber plastic corks. But they, they look valuable. They look, they look like quality. They're a bit bigger and the, the wood on top is pretty nice. Ooh, immediately something fruity, something with berries, like a, a sherry aroma. Sherry and uh, port are similar. Uh, in the sherry, you have the different names like PX, which is very sweet. Then you have uh, different ones like Fino, I think is very dry. The Oloroso is also dry but still more fruity than fino and there are, there are some in between amontillado in the port they don't use the strange names they just say you have port wine you have a uh, sweet semi and dry so i don't know which one they used i would i would say 
something fruity, but I think they're all fruity. Can't quite say. It's it's very oxidized. Not as sweety as, as I would have expected. I would have thought they would use a sweet port wine because everybody, that there's a little hype going on with the, the sh sweet cherries. So it's a, also we have a, like with dried fruits. No. What is that? But also a bit sour, so grapes. Mm. Ooh, intense. Mm. Wine, wine aroma. It has 46% alcohol, which is um, 92 proof. I really feel that it has a lot of taste transported through that 46% ABV. It's a, uh, a heavy note, a heavy, heavy taste. Dark red fruits, mm. wine aromas, grapes, very oxidized. Mm. Mm. It really reminds of a bit of a, a wine. Mm. And the mouthfeel is very smooth. The alcohol is not that attacking. It's covered by that chocolatey, velvety, a bit leathery. Dark mm. wine tone, bit bitterness coming through, um, and all these these wine notes, they last quite long, mm. and they stick to your lips. Mm. So yeah, that's definitely what I would ex expect from a, a port wine finish. Bit more sweetness I would expect, but really port wine. So. Um, if you're interested in slurs or any other information about whiskey.com, we also have a news section, then please uh, visit whiskey.com and thank you for watching.